we're going hands-on with the Bridge Pro Plus, the best way to be productive on your iPad. What is going on everyone? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And yeah, this is the Bridge Pro Plus. It is an updated version of their popular Bridge keyboard for iPad Pro, but now it is integrating a trackpad right into the front of the keyboard itself. With iOS 13 and iPad OS, Apple has added full featured support for external mice on iPads and iPhones. It's taken a little bit of time, but we are finally seeing our first real products incorporate that feature set into their existing products. Now, Bridge has always been an extremely popular third-party keyboard option for the iPad Pro. They look great, they work great, and the whole experience is just seamless. It basically just takes your iPad Pro and turns it into a MacBook Pro. The trackpad, just like the keyboard itself, connects to your iPad over Bluetooth and allows you to control the cursor right on the display. Now, it isn't completely a cursor, it's not a pointer like that, it's basically just assistive touch. Apple kind of puts in this whole mouse support under assistive touch, but there's a lot of features to it. And of course, it still has the full bridge keyboard above that, which is backlit. They type really nice, there's a lot of key travel. Just overall, an excellent product. And now that we have this keyboard support or this mouse support, it's even better. Now, we did notice that there was a little bit of a delay. It's not a lot of delay, just like a little bit of drag. Basically, I wouldn't use this mouse here to play any games on the iPad. I'm not going to do any competitive gaming on my iPad using a Bluetooth trackpad but for general productivity features everything it works really good it's pretty smooth i didn't really notice any huge issues and as apple continues to improve mouse support like the addition of hot corners in the recent ios 13.13 uh, .13, gets even better and this even works with multitasking such as tapping with two fingers to open up a dock using app expose by tapping on with three fingers and you can get into settings and customize even further it really allows you to set this up to exactly how it works best for you really customize it that way and we can try out those gestures tap with two fingers we're opening up expose and we tap we open go into an app itself tap with three fingers and it'll pull up the dock for us really easily just like that and we set up a third gesture of just tapping in the lower right hand corner to go back to the dock or the home screen but you don't have to worry about that because you can use keyboard shortcuts for that or hot corners get even more powerful. Drag your mouse into any of the four corners of the iPad and assign it to a different task, whether it's closing a window, going home, or whatever it may be. Really between iPad OS and all the features there and now external support with great hardware like the Bridge Plus or Bridge Pro Plus, the iPad Pro is becoming an amazing productivity tool. It connects easily to your iPad using those patented hinges, makes it really easy to put on and take it off when you need to, and to add additional protection and coverage, uh, Bridge does sell a rear magnetic cover for the iPad, so the front of the glass can be protected with the keyboard itself when it's closed, and then the back of your iPad can also be protected with their cover, so it just adds a much more protection around the front and the back of the device for when you're taking it on the go. You're really protected in either situation. Bridge is also showing off a new trackpad, so this is great if you already have a bridge and you don't want to upgrade to the new one, but you still want to be able to use an external mouse. It is glass, it's aluminum, it's gorgeous looking, and fun fact, it's actually the same size as that of the one on the MacBook Pro itself, so a really large keyboard trackpad there. So what do you guys think? If you want to let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter and pick one up in the description. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.